Nice. Just uh, just to do a quick double check here, we got True Hyper and Booba. Uh, WR Antiques, I think, is not until tomorrow, but we have Rupert and Scarface today, Trash Panda for Open today, and then Raycor, Beardy Locks, WRD are tomorrow. So all of round two coming into the... What? Oh, we got... So we got... We would have round three, wouldn't we? And then semifinals and then finals. Awesome. All right. All right, let's get these runners ready. All right. Three, two, one, go. Nice. All right, countdown done. Who's going to start first? True Hyper. Give True Hyper his audio first. Now, True Hyper, and compared to Time PB, is the underdog in this scenario. He does have a slower time in Warpless, but as you guys have seen, you know, having having a slower time by like 20 seconds doesn't really change the fact that you got a leaf in the Mushroom House where your opponent didn't. So, something like that, something as small as that can go a long way in these races. Nice, both runners getting bad RNG to start with, moving to two. Love to see it. Love to see it. As I checked, uh, True Hyper has, I think, in the 53 range. He's come down a lot in uh, in a small period of time. Um, him and Zone have kind of come come into the Mario 3 community. I think they, they know each other or they're friends. Or in Season 2, they really want to race off against each other. So that's good. All right, I booba taking the lead. Let's switch the audio back. So neither runner doing the strat where grabbing the leaf so that they can fly up in this fortress. We've seen a couple of runners do that in um, previous races. And I honestly don't think that's that bad of a strategy, um, especially if you're not comfortable with this leaf grab strat. But it looks like both runners are doing very well so far, uh, keeping up with pace. And I know a lot of you have definitely seen uh, in previous races where, hey man, just because you're behind in time doesn't mean you're necessarily going for that full L, right? There's a lot of points to be had. All right, Ibuba going for a tunnel, and he gets it. Wow, very nice. True Hyper Mario. Ah. Oh. Almost going for the tunnel. Almost making it. Oh, no, not this. Close, close. Not quite making it on True Hyper Mario's side. That's okay. Still early game. So as you hit the share points, but you do love to see a nice, sexy MFP tunnel. Um, and iBoop has got to be feeling good after that, especially um, being the winner of Season 2, for anyone who doesn't know. And now he's starting off fresh season three, uh, first race with a with a nice solid point in world one. So let's see if he gets the RNG point here as well. If so, this might be a classic case of unstoppable force. He does get the leap. All right. So again, uh, here we go. A combination of skill and RNG. Uh, Ibuba has an opportunity right now to get a lot of full clear worlds, which means. He could walk away with the highest points uh, in a race. He's off to, um, he's got max points and he's got the throne jump. So, yes. And True Hyper with the throne jump. Yes. Throne jumps are big. Throne jumps are big right now. We don't know who's going to get them. Nobody so far in the tournament has got all throne jumps. Let's turn Ibuba up a little bit here. Whew. Uh, with the Fire Flower, when you jump and shoot fireballs, you do the shape. You do the form of the P-Speed jumps. So he didn't actually have P-Speed in the throne room. He just jumped and shot the fireballs, so Mario took the shape. He just did the little position with his arms out and his big chest hanging out. All right, Ibuba gonna be the first. Cannot take damage here. He cannot afford it. Nice, both players with a great boss kill. And in terms of time, they're very close still. All right, world one. Nice. Let's get, let's get Ibuba up just a little bit here. Just a little bit. 
Do 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 do. I don't know exactly who has lifelines. I think True Hyper Mario still has his lifeline, and obviously Ibuba has his, right? All right, two one. Fairly easy level for these runners, but very possible to still make mistakes. Very possible to still make mistakes here, but it doesn't look like either runner is going to. I move with the turn back. I'm gonna give Triper Mario a chance to catch up a little bit. I don't think he did as much. All right, I move. We're gonna go down for the spade card game. And True Hyper Mario is not going for the spade card game. Um, I wonder if he's trying to make some kind of progressive play here. I wonder if he's changed up his strategies. Um, so let's hope he doesn't fall in the mode of tears. He cannot afford to lose any points. Especially if he's not going to be going for the spade card just yet. Maybe he didn't spawn it, but I'm pretty sure every runner spawns it after 2-1. Maybe he was watching previously and decided he was gonna... I don't know. He... Okay, he forgot. Okay. And Ibuba not going to fall in the moat. Okay, True Hyper. He's got his card, and True Hyper gets it. Very nice. Not looking too bad right here for our runners. Not looking too bad. All right, True Hyper Mario is out of there. And just like that, they are still very close in time. Ibuba not getting early, early P-Speed if True Hyper Mario gets it here, which, oh, he jumped a little too early there at the start. Yeah, True Hyper Mario has the refined colors from the uh, Classic, right? He's playing on the Nintendo Classic. Ibuba keeping his P-Speed in the spike room. Both runners still have their Fire Flower. Both runners also have 28 coins, and they also have very close to the same score. Very close. All right. Here comes Red Rocket in World 2 for Ibuba. Keeps the P-Speed. Very nice. Very nice for Ibuba. True Hyper Mario as well. Very nice for both runners. Yes. I'm talking about. Look at this race. Very close. They're very even in time right now as well. A lot of the same points. Ibuba mm, looks like he's kind of forced to do 2 4 almost. I don't think he wants to. And True Hyper in a little bit better situation. He's got more wiggle room uh, with these Hammer Brother movements. Very nice. I have to do a turn back. Watch out for that sun. Nobody wants to take damage from the sun here. Nice. Neither runner. Oh, no. True Hyper Mario is definitely going to want to do 2-5 uh, for sure. Doesn't want to do 2-4. Bye, Booba with the non-duck jump. True Hyper Mario's first Hammer Brother moves forward. So, unfortunately, he's not going to be able to get that RNG point. RNG not being the best right now for True Hyper. So hopefully he gets okay movements. Yeah, he's gonna go down. That's good. You like to see it. And Ibuba is gonna fight his Hammer Brothers right now. Ibuba gets some pretty good World Two RNG. Ibuba's first Hammer Brother does in fact move backwards. Very interesting. Oh, and True Hyper, just like I said, gets the fanfare, and Ibuba's Hammer Brothers move backwards. That is a two-point swing right there. Ibuba getting a point and True Hyper Mario getting a point taken away. You gotta watch out for that. Oof, the fanfare. That is, um... That can happen to anyone, but also at the same time, that never happens to anyone. So, that's, uh, that is something you cannot really expect. I was not expecting a fanfare uh, from either one of our runners today. That is a you hate to see a moment, but it happens. He did a double turn back. He turned back in the sun and he turned back into five and it still gave him stars. So that's uh, kind of frustrating. That's going to cause him to be behind a little bit in time here. He lost. He definitely lost some time. Also, his music box all the way back there.
Weird Hammer Brothers. But they're not too far off right now. What's the logic of forcing full bottom path in World 4 not pipe entry for red rocket point? I, I don't understand what you're asking. I'm not quite sure. All right, thousand points for Ibuba. There we go. Uh, I think... I don't think either runner got thrown jump there. I don't think so. Yeah, I know. Uh, it doesn't. No, it doesn't, Teeks. The card, the card just simply cycles every eight frames upon being spawned. That's that's about it. So what happened was, uh, True Hyper Mario did his turnbacks were just too thick, right? So he cycled back. When we get when we get the mushroom from the card. We're technically only nine frames away from getting the star if you get the mushroom on one of the last frames, right? Because after the mushroom, it's the it's the flower, and then the flower is eight frames and then the star. So he did he did uh, nine frames too big of a turn back, I guess, and got the star. All right, I we're gonna be first. Is he gonna get the frame jump? He does not get the frame jump. There goes his full card clear. True Hyper, you need to get this frame jump, man. You need to get this shared point. Ah, oh, come on. It debated me. I heard Ibuba jump as soon as True Hyper started the match, and I thought he had got it. Dang, that's opportunities. All right, World 3, we got Door 4. Neither runner has lost their Fire Flower, so that's good. Either runner has lost their fire flower, so that's good. Ibuba not in runaway bro range. Is gonna go for fast 3-2 here. Very good strategy. It also feels safer when it when it, in terms of fish. Oh! And he gets the despawn. True Hyper Mario as well. Also going for fast. He also gets it. Damn, these runners are tight. Very nice. True Hyper Mario does it actually a little bit faster. Wow. All right, Ibuba, he, we can't say he's out of runaway range just yet. We can't say he's out of runaway range just yet. And True Hyper Mario it seems to not be in much of a runaway range right now. So, looks like, I'm, I'm gonna guess neither runner is going to get runaway here. But they seem to have a way with making it a nightmare. Oh. True Hyper wants to make sure, and it looks like Ibuba is not going to be getting Runaway here. Um, is he going to be going for door four though? Yes, he is, and he does not get it. Very unfortunate. Oh, True Hyper Mario getting the weird Hammer Brother movements. Um, and right behind Ibuba. Does he go for door four? He does go for door four. Unfortunately, he does not get door four either. And this is why you're not allowed to watch your opponent, because, right, if True Hyper was watching Ibuba, True Hyper would know if he just didn't go for door four, he'd catch up a lot. Like, a lot of time. And, uh, Ibuba, we're seeing him do the strategy that I think a lot of runners have, uh, adopted during this tournament, which is just Music Box World 3. Looks very nice. Gets you through, you don't have to worry about RNG, and I think True Hyper's gonna do the same thing. Consider no, yeah, good, good. I wonder if he was thinking about not using it and fighting him and then hopefully getting runaway. See, that wouldn't have worked because they switched. So that was the star in Triper's way. And that's, yeah, uh, you have to, you have to be focusing a lot on this game for stuff like that. Uh, you have to be focusing a lot. Very nice. He's got two flowers. Why, Triper? Why is it, why is the end level cards attacking you on this one specific race? All right, True Hyper. 
So in true Hyper's best interests, what he should do is as soon as he sees the card, just do a very, very fast turn back to make sure he doesn't land on the first flame, frame flower. Or just run right into the card. That's very scary. Sometimes when you spawn the card in the end level... Ooh, I booba with the ace jump. Very nice. Um, sometimes when you spawn the card at the end of the level, it will give you the, the very last frame of fire flower before it switches the star. And that's why you sometimes run full speed and get the star or the flower. Oh, very nice. Right, Mar also getting H jump. These runners are still very, very close. We're still in like 7 1, uh, 7 6, the hands, uh, a whole bunch of stuff. This is crazy. Very nice. True Hyper Mario does get runaway, but not in the sense of what we're looking for in terms of point. Neither runner so far has gotten any point in World 3. The only one that they both can clean up is not losing Fire Flower. That's right. There you go. Neither runner has lost Fire Flower since World 2 and World 3. Yeah, 4-1 is always a frig, backside. As neither runner takes damage, they should be in the clear. Very nice for Ibuba. True Hyper Mario is only two points behind right now. Technically three if he loses in time. Hmm. Take a sip of my Lipton iced tea peach flavor that's right no sponsor just just pure love for the beverage season four sponsored by lipton <laughs> all right i is going to be the first one to do four one we'll see how it goes grabs the shell the patented shell strat very nice Bottom P speed. All right, it's your turn, True Hyper Mario, for the bottom P speed. Oh no, the full big jump. The full big jump scares me and puts tears in my face. All right, bottom P speed for both runners. This is good, man. This is a tight race. Oh, and Ibuba canceling out his own shot. Very nice Hammer Brother movement for True Hyper Mario. Very nice. Gonna go for the despawn strategy. Also very nice. Boom. Get out of my way, plant. Alright. Ibuba in an uncomfortable position here with the Hammer Brothers. He's he's definitely not liking what he's seeing here. Um, in Warpless with World 4, you do not want to see your Hammer Brother going down and left at the start. You, it, honestly, you don't want to see the other two Hammer Brothers. You just want to see yours come towards you. And True Hyper getting amazing RNG in World 4. Um, and it's not even RNG that really saves them time. It saves them stress. He doesn't have to worry about the, the, the cloud now. Um, that was a movement of four. Don't think that one was a marathon. I'm right, going to use the star here. Somebody can go back and confirm uh, on True Hyper's audio if that was a movement of four, because that's pretty big. That would be a pretty big deal here. Nice. True Hyper Mario going a little slow. Same with Ibuba, both slowing down a little bit in an uncomfortable strategy area. Very nice, both finishing the level at the same time. Now remember, True Hyper has done his cloud yet, Ibuba has not. Ooh, Ibuba getting lucky. Oh no! 
Wait, did Ibuba already fight his Claude? Maybe he did. Went back. Yeah, it sounded. Yeah, it looked like four. Yeah. Okay. I thought. I thought it was four. Uh, considering where Ibuba's Hammer Brothers have landed, he has not got anything more than a movement of two or three. That was too hard to tell as well. Was that a movement of six? Is Ibuba just not going for the cloud here? I'm, I'm very confused. He is going for the duck jumps though. He might not be going for the cloud, but he is going for the duck jumps. Very nice. Yeah, I didn't even know they switched. All right, Tribe Mario going for the duck jump here. Oh, the swag! Oh no, the greed. The greed. Tribe for Mario, was that a movement of four? What was that move? I've never even seen that movement before. Unfortunately, he is going to take the death. Uh, he, he is not eligible for the duck jump chance again. Uh, but he is going to go for it for the swag. Yeah, that was definitely a marathon what they, the, the way they moved there. That was that was more than four. So he does have that. Damn, Ed, he gets a point, loses a point. You don't want to see that. Come on, True Hyper, dust it off. We have seen this before. You dust it. You dust off right now, True Hyper. You dust off right now and you bring it back. You got this, dude. You got this. You got this. The so the 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 greed. Um, anyone. Who put uh who practiced a lot? Who practiced a lot in four six knows that you cannot do a full big jump from that turtle past the hole. And uh he didn't have P speed, so you can't make that gap, unfortunately. Very, very sad situation. Ibuba still has his back pocket. His back pocket point though, because he did get the lead for world six. You just got to remember to use it. We've seen a couple runners in the tournament forget to use it. Um, so, yeah. All right, moving on to World 5. Good luck to these runners in the World 5. Oh, I thought I'd mark it down for him. There it is, right there. Oh, no, I marked down the death for True Hyper. Yeah. Very nice. Neither runner still has inventory stars. And only Booba has the leaf. Nice, we're gonna go for the Stompies. Nice, he's most likely, well, he did use a, he has used a music box. So he's most likely going to P-Wing. Yeah, we, we got lots of time to do crap during this airship. The airship, we don't even have to watch the airship. We just have to, I just watch chat during the airship and read what you guys have to say. Boo Airship Twisty Castle. All right, yeah, so it looks like he's going to... Yeah, P-Wing, P-Wing go up, very nice, okay. Most runners seem to have adopted this strategy for this tournament style, which makes sense. 
you get rid of your fire flower and then it sets you up for a nice world of five. <laughs> I always love the flyback. The flyback's so dope. All right, so True Hyper is behind by a little bit here. All right, Ibuba is going to go for one of the new points in Season 3. See how he does here. He's got to get a 282 or higher in this level using this path. Oh, I thought he was going to not get in the pipe there. Okay, Tail Swipe. Damage Boost. Ooh, he almost messed that up right there. That was that was way too close. That was way too close. No movements of four yet. Driper going for the swim in the water with the turn back here. So it's, oh man, I don't know. No, I think Driper's good. I think Driper's good. Oh, he's not good. See, I knew it. I knew it when we were watching in practice. He just cuts it too close to the 81. He just cuts it too close to that 81. I boom getting a movement of four right there. Too close, just cuts it too close. Just cutting it way too close. All right, true hyper. Finishing up the boom boom, that's right. And he gets a movement of one, not bad. Movement of one, still pretty good. They're both in the twisty castle at the same time. So the time difference we can still see. I boom has only got one movement of four. And now he's going for the big Koopa jump. Most runners know when to opt out for it. Oh man, he just made it. He just made that. He just made it. That's the second movement of four right there. Ibuba gonna use the star here. Oh, he doesn't get early P speed. Okay, this is an opportunity for True Hyper. Although he has to make sure he doesn't let up on the points. Very nice. Very nice. That's what I'm talking about. No guts, no glory. And I Booba looks like he's gonna miss out on the all movements of four here. Very unfortunate. True Hyper Mario needs to get this point to get a point where I Booba doesn't. And he does get it. You see the patented, the patented strat right there. Very nice for True Hyper. Gonna grab the leaf here to make this next part a little easier. Ibuba still not getting a movement of four. True Hyper with 99 coins. He's gonna wanna watch out for that coin ship spawn. Um, funny enough, the next level is in fact going to give him two coins when he finishes. So let's see what happens here. He's not gonna get Fire Flower because he doesn't wanna lose it. Is True Hyper Mario gonna get, gonna realize he gets two coins here? He did, oh, okay, thank God, sorry. I was thinking in terms of points and not coins. Why would two coins wouldn't hurt anyone? That's not a bad, that's not a bad thing though. Ibuba still not getting a movement of four. Very unfortunate. He needs one more. He didn't get it. Very nice for True Hyper. Fortress. Oh, the pipe jump. 
Man, I hate entering that pipe. I Booba's not getting the movements of four. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. He did get the two, though. Oh, he was close, man. That's what True Hyper Mario needed. True Hyper Mario, though, did also not get. That's right. Did also not get. Movements of four. He's getting movements of two here, but not movements of four. Very nice. True Hyper Mario is not happy with the fanfare stuff, so he's making sure. He's like, I'm never getting a fanfare again. He's like, I'm never getting a fanfare again. Nice, I boob with the stomp strats. Not losing Fire Flower. That is good. That is good. You don't want to get punished. I mean, true Hyper Mario wants I Booba to get punished, but I Booba doesn't want to get punished. Uh, Poopo leave. <laughs> That's funny. Is it really hard for True Hyper to stand a chance against the favorite Ibuba? I don't think it's that hard. No, uh, number so two two points, one point different actually is uh, True Hyper died. So unfortunately. Like, that's... If he just didn't die, that, that has nothing to do with Ibuba being any better than True Hyper. That's... Right? So that's one point difference. The other one is... Um, Ibuba got a good RNG in World 2, so he got a point there. So that's another point. Right? So, I mean... Ibu True Hyper Mario is doing amazing against Ibuba right now. It's... All of Round 2 races so far have, have been amazing. Everything's been going great so far. I, I love these races right now. Um, I didn't see what Ibuba got. I was a little too into that discussion there. But True Hyper Mario did get top pattern for his first Hammer Brother battle. I think Ibuba also got top pattern. They both got high patterns, right? I have to admit that it's going to be a tough one for you, Trash Panda. But again, it's all about the points, right? You never know. There are going to be a one, or, you know, a couple tough matchups. Yeah, I agree. But keep your chin up and go for those points, man. No deaths. No deaths. Yeah, True Hyper Mario having a very uncomfortable situation here. And I believe we get a mini marathon. Why did True Hyper Mario do that? That's so risky. I believe in the Trash Panda too. But I also believe in Feropen. I believe in everyone. Ibuba with the despawn strats. Very nice. Ibuba got low pattern. Thank you very much, SK. I was waiting, was waiting for that. So true Ibu Mario got high pattern. Ibuba got low pattern. So Ibuba's gonna have to do top left, and Ibuba gets high pattern. See, just like that. The RNG points. High versus low. So true hyper Mario needs low pattern here. But he also has to get through this level first. I Booba getting unlucky. He's going to have to use his music box. Which means he's going to have to do an extra level in World 7. That is good for True Hyper. True Hyper also getting despawn strats. Very nice from both of these runners. Doing a great job here. Very nice. Do, 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 do. 
True Hyper Mario getting the good RNG here. Now let's hope True Hyper Mario gets low pattern. True Hyper needs low pattern here. Does iBooba remember to use his leaf? He does remember to use his leaf. True Hyper goes for and does not get low pattern. See the RNG twist, guys. The RNG twist. Oh, getting stomped on. iBooba is going to go for the wall jump. But True Hyper is going to have to... He, he's going to be able to not have to use his uh, music box here. So that's even better. Ibuba going to go for first try wall jump. Oh, wow. Ibuba is just dominating right now. He's making it really, really hard. But True Hyper wouldn't be that far behind if he didn't take that death. That death was rough. That was a tough one. He's going to equip the Fire Flower. He's going to go for the patented Eye Booba Tunnel. Oh! Okay, so True Hyper Mario didn't have a leaf to use, so that's good. And Eye Booba not getting the patented Eye Booba clip in 643. That's good for True Hyper Mario. That is good. All right, True Hyper Mario, you need to take this point away from Ibuba. You got to take this point away. Oh, you didn't have the right subpixel. Everything was perfect about it, though. You just didn't have the right subpixel. Wow, is it just me or does World 6 go by, like... These races, man, these races go by fast. All right, iBooba having a really strong World 6. That World 6 definitely changed a big fate of the run, right? World 5 was pretty passive. Only getting two points where True Hyper got... He didn't get an extra point on him, but he was able to keep up, so... That's... But who knows, man, True Hyper could get this clip! Oh, man, we need it. We all want it. We all just want it to happen. That was a really strong World 6 for Ibuba. Really strong World 6. Yo, thank you, Trash Panda. That's very nice of you. Yeah, hey, that's what everyone said last season until iBooba, like, legitimately won season three because he got... Because he got the fort clip. Yeah, man, getting the floor clip, he literally, like, that was crazy last season. That was insane. And that just makes it even harder. iBooba getting 7-1 first try. Do you guys remember the olden days in season one where 7-1 first try gave you a point? I bet a lot of people are missing that right now. Every time you get it first try, you're like, shit, man, I deserve a point. You, They probably feel like they should get a point for first try, but not in season three. Very nice, True Hyper Mario going for the Stomp Strat. Ibuba not going to be able to get pipe to pipe. Ah, man, who's the crowd favorite now, right? I don't know. I don't know who the crowd favorite is now. He really is, Mai. He really is. He's doing a fantastic job. But so is True Hyper coming in hot with 10. Already taking the death as well. 
um, and a fanfare, so he would have, right? Uh, so True Hyper Mario is, let's see, he got a fanfare and a, and a death, so that's two points taken away from him. Um, he didn't get uh, two additional RNG points that I Booba got, so that's four points right there. Um, so he really wouldn't be too far behind um, had the fanfare and the death not happened because of because the way our, the RNG, right? I Booba doing a very nice job here. Not no bumps. True Hyper Mario not getting in that 7-1. He's behind by quite a bit in time here. It's going to be very hard for him to... Oh, he does get it, though. I Booba going for the 83. Going for some... Going for a sub-pixel manipulation. Anything that feels comfortable. Gonna go for first try clip here. Oh, he does not get first try clip. Clip's not working. Try Mario gets across the pit. Also, does not get pipe to pipe. Who's the fan favorite now, guys? We need to see some more pipe to pipe action in this world. Very nice from both of our runners. Right. Yeah, neither runner busting out the pipe to pipe. All right, looks like iBoob is going to go for the hammer suit strategies, grabbing that additional star. He's not going for hammer suit strategies. Fire flower enthusiast. He's got it all under control. No bumps yet from either runner. Oh, they both use the cloud at the same time. I booba going for the fortress here. Very interesting. Oh no, true hype for Mario. Getting P speed by accident. Not gonna be able to get that point. So like I said before, guys, the True Hyper Mario not having uh, similar points to iBooba doesn't really have anything to do with iBooba be being faster um, than True Hyper. It's, it's been a combo of things. There's been a few points. True Hyper Mario could have got the frame jump and 3-1, got an extra point, not taken a death, not gotten a fanfare, got the 183 there, uh, right? So there's a lot of things that he could have he could have uh, done uh, in the situation he was put in. Um, but at the same time, I still think he's doing an amazing job keeping up with season two winner. You have to remember, iBooba is um, one of the one of the higher end Mario 3 players with a high 51 minute time uh, that he had recently got, I think, in the last few months. All right, no bumps for Booba. Very nice. Oh, whoops. Whoopsie doodle. No bumps for Booba. Oh, yeah, you definitely need the star, True Hyper. I wonder if he knows, like, some crazy starless strategy. Very unfortunate taking that damage there, but I don't think that's a big deal. I think he might actually still have a P-Wing. Um, iBooba left a great opportunity for True Hyper to catch up here in World 7, because he did have to do the extra Piranha Plant, but also his Fortress was a little slow. Um, there, was, there was definitely some time to catch up there, but unfortunately True Hyper was 7-1. Lost them a, a solid 20 or so seconds. It's, Really not a whole lot you can do. If 7-1 is not working for you, it's like 
you know, I never blame any runner. The only time I would blame a runner during 7-1 is if they're wasting the attempt. And what that means is they're jump. When they jump, they're rubbing up the side of the wall. They're not even getting in the doorway. Um, so it's, whether you had good or bad sub pixel, you'll never know. You'll never know if you get it. You wasted the jump. But yeah, that didn't really happen much to True Hyper. He was just getting some pretty bad sub pixels. Mm. Mm. Nice, and no bump for True Hyper. I was watching him, he had smooth movement the whole time. Let's quickly take a look at this here. Look at this. Just trying to see who, who matches up with who when who wins. Very nice. All right, auto scroller land, guys. Da da auto scroller. You're betting eight hand animations. There can only be max six. Good old auto scroller land. Auto scroller land. Auto scrollers, auto scrollers, auto scrollers, auto scrollers. Da, 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 da. All right, you're right, Mario. Finishing the World Seven Auto Scroller. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes I stop talking, guys, because I want to just give my voice a little bit of a rest. Right, so I just go quiet for a couple minutes. Take you easy. All right, I booba not getting Wrangless, although he is going to beat it. I don't, I don't, I can't remember exactly the max amount of points in one race yet. hot green tea well no there's nothing wrong with my voice i just i'm preparing myself just to take it easy on auto scrolls when i can yeah so yep yep just being pretty chill yep 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 well i do get a break after the second matches and then i come back uh in the evening the last match, but we we might actually have Haxer for that last match. Yeah, we might have Haxer for that last match. I've also uh, been considering changing things up a little bit for Season 4. I think Season 4 is going to have a big update to the uh, points tournament. Big update. Oh, hand number one from iBooba. Very unfortunate. 
hate to see it. You hate to see it. The worst is getting pulled in by a hand and then dying on a hand level. Uh, no, I wouldn't run against the champ. People have asked me that a lot, and it's I, I'm so under practice. I, I don't play the points tournaments or anything. I keep my distance. It's for the it's for the runners. It's not it's their thing, not mine. Well, I mean, it's mine because I created it. But other than that, it's let other runners have their own thing. I've had enough light in Mario Three. Other people deserve to have some. I mean, oh yeah, it'd still be fun, but eh, I haven't really thought about it. I'm a chicken, yeah, I'm afraid. <laughs> what time is the race today. What is it? A warpless or a hundred percent race today? Yeah, what time is it? What time is the race Eastern today for the there's like a big hundred percent or warpless race? 4 p.m. Eastern, so two two o'clock my time. Alright, Ibuba coming in hot. All the auto scrollers are done for Ibuba. He's made it. He's made it to levels he's in control of. Very nice. Very nice. His name's Ibuba. All right, true hyper. No hands. True hyper going backwards. Dropped his wallet in between the two airships. Ooh, Triver Mario almost getting no hands, so close. And it looks like Ibuba is going to secure the combo point. Very nice. Very nice for Ibuba. The combo point can be tough when you're under pressure. And is he going to get conveyor? Was not expecting that. That was beautiful, Ibuba. That was beautiful. It happens though, guys. It happens. Alright, True Hyper. Come on, True Hyper. You need to clean up some points here. Yeah, use that star. Ibuba finishing up the fortress. Very nice. Ibuba taking that death though, man. That's uh that's rough. True Hyper Mario has definitely been in positions here where he could. Man, it this race totally could have been like, you know, 17 to 19. Had True Hyper Mario, like, especially if Ibuba didn't get as lucky and True Hyper, like, if they had even luck, I feel like they'd be, like, 15 to 16 right now, especially if True Hyper didn't get fanfare or take that death. True Hyper Mario, though, does have a very good 8-1, and 8-2 needs to clean it up for him. Yep, just damage boost all the way through. Oh, no, he lost speed. Is he going to be able to clutch it out? A 290? He does get it. Okay, very nice. That's the combo point. Needs to get conveyor P-Speed here. Needs to get conveyor P-Speed. Gotta get the conveyor P-Speed. All right. And he does get conveyor P-Speed, very nice.
Those little mistakes, man. Those the the little mistakes that have nothing to do with your opponent is um is definitely what's hurting True Hyper the most here. That death and fanfare. He'd have 15 points right now with Booba 19. That's not that big of a lead. Um, unfortunately though, True Hyper is gonna walk away with 12 points because he is going to get in second unless something crazy happens. We're gonna get that iBooba donut clip again. I hope not. Very nice. All right, here we go for the fire kill. Looking good, standing in a good spot. Ooh. That was a close fireball, and he gets the kill. And looks like iBooba is going to take race one win. He's gonna make it very, very hard for True Hyper Mario to bring this back in race two. But that's how the tournaments go. Not a whole lot that you can do, right? Looks like he finished with a 55-10. Very nice. Oh, True Hyper Mario had not used his lifeline. Did decide to use his lifeline. So True Hyper Mario does have 13. 13 to 19. Let's let, let's let True Hyper Mario finish up his race right here. Give these runners a five minute break. Let's go Bowser, let's go. Very nice, very nice stairs. Yes, dude, I love the stair movement right there. Ooh, getting Karooed, though. I just gotta watch out for that. Oh, that was looking to be a very nice throne room. Oh, nice. Oh, he had it. But better safe than sorry. He can still take a death here. He definitely doesn't want to. Very nice. It looks like True Hyper Mario is going to finish up with a 56 50x. Very nice. Fifty six, fifty one, not bad. Not bad. So race one looks like it's 12 to 19. Oh man, 12 to 19 for Booba. Very nice. Very nice. Let's go ahead and mark that in. Give them a five minute break. Let's see. Race one, runner one point, 12. You guys will let me know if I missed anything. 12 to 19. Oh, th yes, 13 to 19. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know, I see 12. Yes, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had just said that too, right? Like, I just said he uses lifetime, so it's 13 to 19. And then, of course, I go ahead and throw it in. I just said something.
It, that, okay, it is so crazy, guys. I booba, I booba got high and low, got backwards bro in world two and got leaf from the mushroom house where true hyper didn't. So that's a three point swing there, but he got really lucky. And then I, and then true hyper Mario with the fanfare and the death. Right, so look at the points there with that. If he didn't get the death, and he didn't get the fanfare, and let's say, let's say, I Booba didn't get as lucky here, whereas True Hyper, uh, let's say True Hyper did get lucky, we'd be 16 to 18 right now. And True Hyper missed the duck jump point, that was a two point swing right there. That was a hard one. Very nice race so far. Very nice race so far. Quesadillas without cheese? No, thank you. The second race is going to be very, very hard for True Hyper Mario to bring this back, considering he already used his lifeline. However, we have seen crazier things. And up next, um, how, how long of a break do we have? Let's take a quick little look here. How long of a break do we have? Oh, no. Did that actually really happen? Okay, let me fix that. So trolly. It's better. Uh, let's take a quick look here. What do we have? Um... Uh, it's about an hour, right? Yo, Rupert, welcome back for 11 months. We have about an hour until Rupert is uh, Rupert's and uh, Scarface's race. Uh, but it's it's probably like 30. By the time we're done with this, it's probably like 35 to 40 minutes, right? So it's pretty much right after this. Should I just, guys, should I just host and do commentary for the big race after this? I mean, I'm already commentating all day. Uh, there's a big warpless race after these other two runners. We should just all watch it here and do commentary. Somebody's got to get me, let's see, somebody's got to get me a, when you guys have a chance, I need a Twitch multi-link, Twitch multi-link so you guys can watch on my stream, but I, I guess getting the multi-link of the highest runners in the race, I guess, would make sense, so let's see, get me, uh, let's see, I'm going to start at the bottom, get me zone, Who's in it right now? Get me Teeks, Zikubi, Booba, four streams. Four streams, I think, is enough for me to restream. I think that's enough. The Bagler. Yeah, I can't do anything more than four. So what am I going to do? Uh, Teeks, Booba, Zikubi, and Zone for the multi-link. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. That'll be great. Yeah, these runners are just taking a quick break, guys. You should do the same thing. Get up stress or get up a stretch.
Well, I, I have time. I can do commentary for the big race after Rupert versus um, Scarface, and then I could like stop, maybe take a nap or something. Or ask, ha I see. I was gonna ask Haxer if he wants to do commentary solo for uh, the last race tonight. That way, I can actually take a legitimate break. So we'll see. He probably will. Hax is pretty good with that. Probably will. Hax is pretty good with stuff like that. So we'll see. Hey, Sadia's. Hey, Sadia without cheese. What? You're really leaving Flavor Town without any cheese. I need more cheese. More. What if you're lactose intolerant? I don't know. Quesadillas, I feel like, is not the best choice for you if you're lactose intolerant. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna have like cheeseless quesadillas and like not you know, not that kind of stuff on it. Just have like a different, just have like a salad then and then like dip your pita or something, right? Like I figured that would be best case. Lactose. Oh, you don't eat Mexican anyways. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see if these racers are ready. They are. Okay. True Hyper Mario does need to take a moment. He needs to take a quick little moment. Da -da 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 Y'all are doing great, man. How are you doing? I am doing yes. Thank you for asking. Well, no problem. Ooh, provolone. Prova frig. Cheesy, cheesy, good. Lactose intelligent. Never really heard that one. All right, uh, so iBoob is ready and True Hyper Mario is, we're just waiting to confirm that he is ready. Not sure exactly what he's about to say. He's been typing for quite a bit here. Let's see what he's got. Omelet du fromage. Okay, what is this? True Hyper Mario on a phone call? What is this? Yeah, in that call right now. How about I give a phone call to iBooba's points here? Yeah, you like this phone call? Huh? Look, iBooba just had a phone call right now. Hey, you like that phone call? All right, starting off 10 to 4. <laughs> oh, True Hyper's got a phone call, does he? There you go. See how it is? <whistles> nice. What are you guys going to be tassing? Yeah, what are you guys going to be tassing?
beep 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 all right is everyone in chat ready is everyone in chat ready no okay someone's not ready guys we can't continue impossible someone's not ready I don't know, man. I don't know. Your poop block is ready? Okay. All right, on go from three. Let's go here. Three, two, one, go. I mean, they don't always they don't always start on go at the perfect time, but that's okay. No big deal. Come on, Ibuba. Quit looking at the bikini babes. You gotta start your race, buddy. Uh, apparently it disconnected the timer. So let's get that back on the go here. Runner two timer. Let's see. Uh, yeah, no, it should be I booba. It should be good. Oh, I know what happened. Oh, I can fix it. That's easy fix. There we go. That's... Give me something hard to fix, guys. Both runners doing a great job in one one. Like we said before, Trevor Mario is gonna do his best to come in hot and try and collect any points he can for career total. Like I said, it's gonna be very difficult for him to take the win uh, through round two, but we have seen crazier things happen. Like Ibuba winning an entire season from one trick at the end of race two, right? If I remember correctly, they were either tied in season two or Haxor was winning by like one or two points after race one. All right, here we go. MFP tunnel for both these racers. Let's do it. Who's gonna get it? Who's gonna be hot enough to get the MFP tunnel? Oh, true hyper not keep peace speed, but this is looking good for him. Oh, Trevor Mario gets it where I movement does not. I told you guys. I told you. Anything can happen. Coming in hot. Yeah, Trevor Mario was on a phone call, but I think he was on a phone call with himself. He was having a personal call with his confidence saying, you know what, you got this, dude. You got this. And look, look what's happening so far. He's staying in the lead, he's got the point. I have a feeling the Mushroom House is gonna give him the lead. Let's see, let's see what we get here. Oh, no leaf. And iBooba gets another leaf. The RNG is just on iBooba's side today. Just on iBooba's side. Getting a throne jump for True Hyper Mario, though. That's really big. Throne jump for True Hyper Mario. Very nice. All right, going off to the world, too. Um. Uh, the booba luck? Yeah, Booba's getting some really good RNG here. I believe in both runners. <laughs> yes, I believe. The RNG, but True Hyper Mario still keeping the lead in World 1. Da, 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 da.
All right, we're just waiting to get through World 2. It's right, Mario has a throne jump. Ibuba does not, but Ibuba did get the back pocket point with the leaf. He's just got to remember to use it. All right, Chirai Mario going to be the first one to enter 2-1. Very nice. Let's keep it hot. Let's keep going. They are in the desert, so things are heating up here. That's right. All puns intended. That's right. Very nice from both of our runners. Chirai for Mario. What? He's doing those turnbacks. That is going to lose him a little bit of time there, uh, doing too much work for those turnbacks. Sometimes when you turn back too hard, it will inadvertently give you the bad cards. I Booba doing the same thing that True Hyper did last time. And True Hyper Mario is going to check his cheat sheet really quick to make sure he knows what items he's getting. He's getting the stars, and it looks like he does know what card it is. He should probably go for the 10 points uh, to make sure, make sure he is doing the right thing. And he does get the 10 points here. Very nice. Now he's on his way. Now, no mode of tears from either runner. Uh, looks like Booba did also forget the spade card game. True Hyper Mario did that last time. All right, and iBooba is checking out his cheat sheet. Oh, in the mode of tears. That is extremely unfortunate. You do not want to be landing in the mode. Oh, rough stuff. iBooba taking quite some time here. And he does get it. That was an awkward card, man. The $10 there. I think that's like a one-in-a-kind card. Ibuba has already passed level two, so he has not fallen in the moat. He doesn't have to worry about that. Nice, true. Have Mario getting a uh, little bit of late P-Speed, where Ibuba get that early P-Speed, and just like that, look at how fast he catches up with that early P-Speed. Very nice. Do 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 All right, just like that, both runners are going to be able to get their fire kill. No one's lost Fire Flower yet. And Shirai Mario's first Hammer Brother is going to be for Bro. Cannot catch a break with any RNG. It's very unfortunate. That's the combination with the points. The points is skill and luck base. Give everyone equal opportunities in certain scenarios. Mario 3 does not care about your feelings. It... It will do anything and everything to stop you from smiling. That is the way the RNG works in Mario 3. True Hyper Mario not going to be able to get the Red Rocket. Where iBooba is going to be able to get it. And True Hyper Mario taking damage as well. iBooba getting backwards moving. Bro, this is just the nightmare that none of us want to see. True Hyper Mario doing some mild crumbling while iBooba is getting points and getting the good RNG. Very unfortunate here. There's not much you can do about it. It, it happens. It happens. But True Hyper Mario is a good guy. He's gonna put on he's gonna put on the brave face and he's gonna make sure he gets through the run and, and still have a good time. I mean it's You know, you never expect stuff like this to happen. I bet True Hyper Mario never messed up Red Rocket ever, right? It just didn't really happen for him much. And then you get into a tournament, and then all of a sudden, oh, you take a death. That's what happens. True Hyper Mario is going to fight his Hammer Brother here. And he does get one backwards bro, but unfortunately he does not get two backwards bros. Unfortunately, the tilt. I Booba get forward moving, bro, so he's not going to get lucky. And True Hyper Mario is going to go to the easier level. He's going to go for the 2 5. 2 5 is a little bit easier. And that is one luck point that I Booba is not going to get. I Booba is now in the lead here, entering the pyramid. All right, going off into World 3. I Booba has not taken damage yet. Unfortunately, though, True Hyper has. Not going to be able to get that world three point. Mm. 
And just like that, True Hype Mario's finishing up the pyramid. Boom. Very nice. A very, very good start. The True Hyper Mario get the MFP tunnel, stays in the lead, get its 10 bucks point from the spade card game. And then all of a sudden, Moat missed Red Rocket, took a death, didn't get the RNG point. Very, very rough world two for uh, True Hyper Mario. But there's not a whole lot you can do about that. There's not a whole lot you can do about that. What is in those crates? We need to know what's in those crates, Nintendo. Or maybe it's left for our imagination. Maybe it's left for our imagination. Who knows? All right, here we go. First player, frame jump here. Oh man, and iBooba gets it. True Hyper steal that point from iBooba. Steal that point from iBooba. Ah, oh, and there it is. iBooba coming back with another point right there. Booba coming back with another point right there. You know, most runners that are going for 3 2 P speed are actually nailing it when they go for it. And it's like very possible not to, but. Damn, man, the Mario 3 runners are getting so damn good. Right? I mean, for my situation, it's a little different because I started at the start of Mario 3 and kind of built it up. So it took me like six years to get a 51. Right? But we're getting runners now that are like 52, 51, 53. And it's just like they've been playing for a year. And it's just incredible at how good people are getting at Mario 3. I'm just, imp I, every day I'm impressed. Every day I'm impressed. What's more impressive is that True Hyper Mario did just get Runaway Bro. That is points for him. Ibuba gonna go for door four. And he gets it, oh my God, he's getting everything in this world. Iboob's gonna have to put him to sleep. Doesn't get Runaway. True Hyper Mario does not get Door 4, unfortunately. Unfortunately. What's what's really interesting is that Ibuba is not getting any RNG points except for that leap, but he's making up for it with his with his skill here. This is This is nutty. Alright, he's gonna cloud across. True, True Hyper Mario. Gonna finish up with the runaway. Very nice. <laughs> True Hyper Mario so far has not had to use a music box, so if he gets to save that, that could be good for him later. Ooh, and Ibuba not having a comfortable 3 8. Falling down, does he know what to do here? Ladies and gentlemen, I have not seen that in this tournament yet. First person to try and go down there. Interesting strategy. 
True Hyper Mario is forced to use that music box here, though. And he is out of there. Very nice. And he, you know what I mean? So he, like, he's still not that far behind iBooba after everything that's happened to True Hyper, right? It's, it's crazy how good these runners are. He's what, a level and a half behind after dying and, and missing messing up a couple things? Like, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Nice H jump for iBooba. Very nice. All right. Everyone is doing great. I love it. No, no, I'm not muted. We were on the airship. That was a great time to take a couple bites of my breakfast. I booba getting bottom path in 4 1. Very nice. Very nice. So I did notice. I did notice we got a comment on how True Hyper Mario got matched up with like a pretty tough. Pretty, pretty tough match here, which normally I, I would say yes, because iBooba did win season two. However, if you go back and watch the first race, there's nothing really that iBooba did directly to kind of prevent True Hyper Mario from, from tying up and or uh, keeping up with iBooba in the first race. Oh no, that's a double point swing for True Hyper Mario. Dang it, the the I feel like a little bit of tilt here is happening, guys. Just a little bit of um Right? Like it's 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 almost like a combination of the way that race one went compared to how race two was like predetermined to go, if that makes if that makes sense. It's like he he knew he was behind by too much. So naturally, race two would fall apart, I guess, but we've been proven wrong in previous tournaments before, and True Hyper Mario had such a strong start in race two. He's such a good player. I have never fought the Hammer Brother here before. Oh, uh, iBooba almost getting a mini marathon. True Hyper Mario not getting. He's gonna have to try a double block grab here. Very nice. I booba with a very good fortress. Very, very good fortress. He gets kind of an unlucky break with his hammer brothers, though. They did do a switch. He had to 
he had to do early music box, which kind of sucks in World 4, to be honest. Um, but there's not really anything he can do about it, sadly. The music box was the right play. Had he had the hammer, the music box would be a really hard play in that scenario. Come on, True Hype Mario, you're gonna annihilate this level, right? Boom, 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 boom. Oh, the damage. No, no, not that way. Yes, this way. Very nice. Good job. Sick. Mm. Yep, this is the cloud. And he's already... Whoa, that was weird. He already used his music box, so I guess he's just going to fight the P-Wing. Drive Mario going to use his Fire Flower here. I, Booba, I wonder if he did consider to go down in terms of habit for Mario 3 speedrunning. Oh, true hyper Mario with the crazy fortress. Very nice. I, Booba, is going to go for the duck jump point here in World 4. Let's see how it goes. Very nice. And he does get it. He does, in fact, get the duck jumps. Ah, yes, that's right. No Fire Flower loss. Unfortunately, True Hyper Mario had lost his Fire Flower in World 2 due to a couple unfortunate things. So he's not going to be able to get that lost fire. And Race 2 is already incredibly stacked right now for, for I, Booba. I mean, there's just so many points he's gotten here. And the only ones he's not getting right now is RNG and MFP Tunnel. That's the only one so far. And he's on his way to World 5. That's it. World 4 is done. True Hyper Mario needs to put these guys to sleep. Yep. And now he's going to go for his own duck jump points. I have my mouse on the point right now, True Hyper. You're going to get it. Yes, he does get it. That's right. Redemption from last race. Redemption from last race. That's right. No early P-Speed, but that's fine, right? You don't want to get early P-Speed in the Fortress if you're going to grab the Fire Flower. It's almost impossible kind of thing. In this season, no, there was this, no, the, the penalty for 288 if in 4-3 was for season two. Very nice, Hammer Brother moving out of True Hyper Mario's way, and he's also on the airship. So he's roughly a little over a minute behind, it looks like. All right. Ah, the slow. The say I know the resident sleeper auto scroller. Come on, auto scroller, move your ass. So, how's everyone doing today? Would be a lot better if we didn't have this. All right, 23.17, Ibuba grabbed the wand. 23.17 on True Hyper's times. So let's see what True Hyper gets. Twenty three seventeen. Mm. All right, I be using the P wing. He's gonna fly up. Let's see if he has the same five one with the tunnels. The, what the tunnel fly? Very nice. It's not easy to do to get in there nice and comfortably. 
You can get your head stuck in the ceiling, you can body rub, you can mess up the whole thing. Twenty-three seventeen on True Hyper's time here. So True Hyper gets a 24... 24, 25. So what's that, a minute and 12 seconds? And just like that, iBooba loses out on the 280. Oh, right through him. What? Not expecting that. True Hyper Mario is not going to use the P Wing in this level to get the music box. Very nice. Oh, iBooba with the movement of four right away. He is small Mario here, so this is very scary. He can go under the death waffle though. Oh, he doesn't go under. He's like, I'm not going under that crap. Try for Mario does not get a movement of four. I Booba slows down a little bit. Ah, that could have thrown him off, but it didn't. True Hyper doing this strategy with Fire Flower. If he loses Fire Flower, he loses an additional point. But at this point, I don't think he cares. I don't want to rule anything out, but I don't think... Okay, so he's just gonna kill it! And almost get the 285 in the pipe. That would be the highest I've seen. 285 in the pipe. Would have been the highest I've seen. That was pretty damn good for True Hyper. That was... He, he essentially just said, hold my beer. That was amazing. With Fire Flower, that's very scary. Yeah. Yeah, gladly hold that beer again. True Hyper. Not getting movements of four that he wants, but he does get the good RNG, which makes uh, not using his P-Wing a good decision. And Ibuba is going to get that big jump. I could tell just by the way he jumped. Very nice. All right, True Hyper Mario is now on the Twisty Castle. The fake level. It's fake. Ibuba, he's got two movements of four so far. He does get early peace speed this time. Last time he did not. Wait, I think Ibuba only has one movement of four. That's right, I think he only has one movement of four. Ooh, True Hyper Mario did lose his Fire Flower. That's very unfortunate. Oopsies! Ibuba not getting those movements of four, man. All right, True Hyper Mario going for the big Koopa jump. Yes, very nice for True Hyper. Wait, he didn't lose it? He used a mushroom? <laughs> you guys tricking me. You guys tricking me. Ibuba not getting that movement of four that he needs. True Hyper Mario has to get P-Speed here. Very nice, he does get it. So neither runner is going to get that point. Don't lose Fire Flower includes equipping inventory items. Damn, he's unable to secure those, those movements of four. That's very unfortunate.
It's just look at Mario's face and then picture the runners having to deal with that crap. That was Hammer Brothers. I Booba did get a movement of four, but I think that's only his second one. He did mark himself down for three movements of four, but I think he did secure it right at the end there. I think the person is reading the wrong Don't Lose Your Fire Flower. Um, so if you if you equipped an item or lose your fire flower from world two to world three, then you don't get the point. But in world five, you also can't lose your fire flower, but equipping items is okay. He did get early P speed, but so did True Hyper. True Hyper fought the bottom bro, so there was no way he could get movements of four, sadly. So he was out of the movement of four game. And True Hyper Mario equipped a mushroom, says chat, and he didn't grab Fire Flower since. So he is not going to lose that point. <laughs> da, 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 da. All right, is iBooba gonna get high or low first, guys? What do you think? High or low? I think he's. I think he's gonna get low. I think iBooba's gonna start getting low here. Oh, he got high. Ibuba got high pattern. Damn. Very nice for True Hyper Mario. And he gets the kill. A couple points he was able to get in World 5 where Ibuba was unable to get some. Um, True Hyper Mario did take early P-Speed point away from iBooba, uh, which is actually pretty good. And neither runner lost their Fire Flower, which is also very good. You don't want to get a punish for that. But iBooba did get lucky with movements of four. THM is also going to get high. Is that what the THM stands for? True High Mario? But Ibuba did get high pattern first, so we'll see. We'll see what uh, we'll see what True Hyper Mario gets. He got high pattern as well. Very nice. Both run is getting high pattern. Very easy to remember. Oh hi, Booba. Ibuba again. That's a pretty good switch for Ibuba. That's actually a really good switch. Ooh, True Hyper Mario taking damage there. Uh, yeah, there's no point in grabbing that mushroom. Might as well take the elevator. The elevator of sadness. The elevator of slowness. I don't know. What should we call that elevator ride, guys? Ibuba getting the despawn strat. Very nice. Very nice. Not easy. True Hyper's gonna have to wait here. Got himself caught in an uncomfortable spot, but that's okay. And just like that, they switched. I told you, man, that's a great position that they were in. Ooh, Ibuba also getting another high pattern, so he's not going to be able to get it. True Hyper Mario getting a marathon, unfortunately. Not going to help him. Ibuba getting out of here without a star inventory, but he's not going to get the high low. It's something that, something that True Hyper Mario can definitely get here. Taking intentional damage on Ibuba's side. Sure, right, Mario gets a very clean 6 4. Very nice. Boo, 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 boo. All right. Sure, right, Mario goes down. 
he's he's not quite out of the clear. If True Hyper's Mario's Hammer Brother moves right across level six and the other one moves up, he's in a very uncomfortable spot. Ibuba is going to use his leaf there. Very nice. All right, so he's not gonna get the RNG point for high and low, uh, but he does have an opportunity for wall jump here. All right, so let's see what happens in True Hyper Mario's side, and okay, that's really good. Very nice for True Hyper Mario. No inventory stars for True Hyper. And Ibuba is now going to go for the wall jump. True Hyper gets the hammer suit. Ooh, wall rubs, and it messed up his sub pixels. Very unfortunate. He does get a second try though. True Hyper also getting a second high pattern. All four Hammer Brothers in World 6 for both the runners. High patterns for both of them. No luck to be had. World 6 is being rough. Uh, but True Hyper Mario has an opportunity to get first try wall jump. Take that away from Booba. Booba really wants this clip, man. He wants to show people it's it's his move. It's his clip. Um, he tried really hard last time. Is he going to get it this time, though? Oh my god, he got it. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me! What is this? You gotta be kidding- He clicked on his points so fast when he got it, he's like, yeah. Oh yeah, he was ready. No one's gonna get floor clip in the tournament, says someone 25 minutes ago. Legit, somebody said 25 minutes ago. I can't believe he got it, dude. I can't believe he just got that. Look, he's teabagging right now. He knows. He's like, yeah. Hi, Booba, you crazy bastard. The clip lives. Is the clip. Is Are we going to have to put that clip in season four now? All right, True Hyper needs to get wall jump here. First try. Oh, he had it! Oh, no! Two times! He's missing his A input. Okay, he didn't get it that time. Oh, three A inputs missed. There you go. Gets it. Nice. Very nice. All right, True Hyper. Dude, what if True Hyper gets the floor clip? Come on, True Hyper. If you get Floor Clip, you actually, like, take the hype away from Booba. Come on, get the Floor Clip, True Hyper. Oh, I thought he had it! That was so close! That was such a good attempt. Nice, True Hyper Mario finishes up World 6. Unfortunately, not going to really be able to secure many points here. But then again, Round 2 and Round 1. Round, I, I think Round 2 has been a little bit harsher on True Hyper Mario than Round 1. But regardless, he... Not this time. Very nice. He does get it, though. He does get it. Moving on to World 7. Gotta watch out for those bumps and bonks in the overworld. Bump me, bonk me. Drag Mario going for season two points. Love to see it. Uh... I Booba going for a very nice, consistent, comfortable 7-2. This level looks hard on the outside by a lot of uh, people watching probably, but this level's not so bad. Uh, there's a couple things. As long as you enter this level with a star or power-up, you'll be able to get P-Speed pretty easily. No pipe to pipe though. He knew it too, he knew it. Mm -hmm. 
No bumps yet. What does iBooba need? 21 points? To have 40 points in two races? That's a lot of points. I don't know. I think it's I think it's still a little faster to use P-Wing in the pipe transition. Or maybe not. Oh, come on, True Hyper. You had that. Should have given it to him. I don't see... I, I honestly don't see anything he did wrong there. Come on, 7-1. He's had a lot of good jumps. Just not getting good sub pixels here. 183 for Ibuba. All right, True Mario gets it, and Ibuba. Oh, doesn't get it, man. He needed that first try. I want to see someone accidentally enter the level. Come on, that's got to happen, right? Someone's going to do it. I mean, oh no, it would just be so awful if somebody accidentally entered the level. I mean, come on, it, that would just be the worst. I would totally hate that if that happened. It would just be so bad, right? Damn it, he didn't go in the level. Well, I tried, guys. Oh, somebody's getting some pipe-to-pipe -pipe action here. That's right, True Hyper Mario. The real moves here. I mean, oh. Wow, they got the clip. Good job, guys. Damn it. He needs a star here. Iboob is a non-hammer suit runner. Don't think True Hyper Mario is going to get punished here. Looking pretty hot, looking pretty clean. Ooh, Ibuba! In a weird position, he doesn't know exactly what patterns he's going to get, so he's going to have to play it slow here. That's okay, he does make it. He is familiar with that mistake. That is definitely not the first time he's done that. This is his strategy. He really, really does not like 7-9, I guess. I, I believe it's the only person so far who's really done this. And true Hyper Mario, unfortunately, body rubs up against the block there. Going to cause him to lose out on that 183 point. No bumps or bonks, though, from either runner. So that's good. True Hyper Mario needs to get this first try to add towards his point total. I don't think he can bring it back, so he's probably going to be knocked out. Um, but he can still keep generating as many points as he can uh, to have his career total points at a nice high. Oh, and he had a good jump with a bad sub pixel. Gets it second try though. Unfortunately, second try doesn't give you a point. Very unfortunate. That's right, no bonks. Oh, whoops. Wrong person. True Hyper Mario is going to go for Hammer Suit, I guess. I mean, that's good. That's what he should be going for. I mean, Fire Flower is good. Oh, he's not going for it. Oh, he is. Okay, okay. Whoa, that was scary, man. That was a clencher. Very nice. Got the hammer suit. Someone's got to get the hammer suit, right, guys? Someone's got to get the hammer suit. You can control your subpixels, just not after your first attempt. Oh, come on, True Hyper. No way. Oh, he had it. He was going for the dream. Oh, no. Get back out. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Without that slip up, this would have been a very, very nice 7 uh, 9. Very nice 7 9. Music box cloud. And I don't think Tri Hyper Mario bonked either. Very nice. Very nice. All right, we are in auto scroller land. Yay! And don't worry, guys, don't go anywhere because we have a race right after this one uh, that starts at, what, 12 Eastern, right? We have another race with Scarface Nico versus Rupert at 12 o'clock, no? One hour, one hour away from now. Wait, True Hyper? Why? Why, True Hyper? No! Yeah, I don't know why. He does have a spare, that's true. I know, I know, lady. I know when the race is. I just said it wrong, that's all. I know. I have the calendar up right now. Yeah, no no big deal, it's all good. Yeah, if you guys want to check out the calendar, make sure you guys type exclamation tournament. You get all the information you need. Get all the info. True Hyper Mario is just about to finish the World 7 airship. And then we are off into World 8. World 8 normally takes about 10, 10 to 15 minutes, depending on what happens. I mean, if you get all hands. Oh, True Hyper Mario, doinking around a little bit. He knows it's the end, so the swag's coming out. Oh, that lag for Ibuba is horrible. That was a lot of lag. But yeah, True Hyper Mario, I feel like he knows it's he knows it's the end. So I want to see as much swag. I want to see as much swag as we could possibly handle. Oh, True Hyper Mario. I just checked the Discord about... 40 minutes ago, he had already messaged in the Discord that it's over. It's already over for him and it's frustrating. So he let Ibuba know that it was over for him. Happens. Happens. Frustrating times, guys. Yep. Next race is in one hour. Can Booba get under 54? I don't think so. I don't think so. He's got six minutes to do that. Auto scrollers, auto scrollers. I am very close to 100,000 followers, that is correct. I am very, very close. I don't know what that sound was, Booba. What?
That's usually a bad sound. All I know is I heard a sound happen on iBooba's screen and then he got no hands. Mm. Sus. What was that about? New manipulation of some sort? What was that sound? Does anyone actually know what that sound was? Have you guys heard it? Sound like an Outlook Outlook appointment for a meeting? Oh, okay. Very nice for iBooba though, no hands. Insane race right here. All right. iBooba is done with all the auto-scroller garbage for now. All right, he needs to get combo points. He's got one chance here, guys. He's got one chance to get 40 points from both races. This is it. One chance for 40 points. Uh, so I guess Ibuba is late for an appointment, it seems. And um, I guess being late, he decided to go faster. And by doing so, he got no hands, so... So Ibuba is uh, he's trying to make it into his meat. Ah, oh, true hyper with one hand. I want to see them both get no hands. Mario 3 was like, oh, late for an appointment here. Have no hands. All right, he does get the combo point. We are at 39 points for Ibuba. He's got to get the revenge of conveyor P speed here to get 40 points Total across two races. It's him and conveyor peace speed. That's the only thing in his way right now. Oh, and he gets it. Wow. 40 points in two races. True right, Mario finishing up hand number three and now is on the Air Force. Fortunately, he got pulled in by two hands. Booba is too strong. He's got, he's got the grit. He's got the grime. Ooh, he's not gonna be able to make the sub 54 though. The illegal clip. I know everyone's gonna start saying floor clip is broken. Get rid of it like Jesus clip. Okay, season one was the transitional period, okay? We were just feeling out the tournaments. Okay, Jesus Clip wasn't even that bad. It was a huge gamble. All right, True Hyper Mario needs to go for the combo points to get career high in points. Get as many as he can. Uh, no, I don't think I'd bring 7-7 seven, seven back in the tournament because it's not really in a warpless route. It was only in season one because I needed to fill in points. And true hyper with the freaking doith there. Jesus clip was actually three points in season one. Very unfortunate, yes. Ibuba taking it pretty slow here. And 
just like that. iBoom is going to finish up with a 54 uh, high 3x, I think. And True Hyper is going to get compared piece speed. Last point for him. And he doesn't get it. He, oh, he didn't die. How did he not die there? That was way too scary. 54-37 for iBoob. And True Hyper Mario is going to be going ahead and finishing up his race. Way, that's a lot, a lot of points for iBooba. That is a lot of points for iBooba, but I mean, it's not gonna happen all the time, right? Combination of luck. Combination of luck, it happens. Wow, he, he got a 40 bomb. 40 bomb. Well, I think we can congratulate both runners, though. Both runners have done a fantastic job. No, no, just 40 points, even. Uh, it's happened a couple times, uh, Draper Brass. It's happened a couple times where you have more points. We've had some people get more points, but not get under 60. So they lose some points, but they still win in points. Time to get canned, Bowser. Probably could have done without this. We probably could have done without this. But you got it. You got the clip. You got it. Hey, I always tell you guys, it's not swag if you don't get it, but he got it. So I'm happy now. Yeah, true Hyper Mario did play very well today. There was a couple things that caused him to just go in kind of a, um, a self-creating tilt a little bit, which is unfortunate. There's not a whole lot he could have done about that. Uh, he did lose some points early on to some silly things that kind of probably threw him, you know, threw a wrench at him in his plans or whatever. And it just it just made it just a little, a little too difficult for him to bring it back. And yeah, just like that, offline, uh, right away, I don't think he's very happy about that. Um, which is understandable. Um, it happens, I guess. So True Hyper with eight and... 13, so 21, 40 to 21, that's insane. Too many points for iBooba. That is just, 40 points is insane.